So we have defined what electrostatic potential is. We would now <coughs> like to find out electric electrostatic potential at a point, say a distance small r, radial distance small r from a from a given charge, right? Because then only we'll be able to put things in an objective manner. Fine. So so let us say I have a single point charge, say plus q, say plus q here. Okay. And I want to find out and I want to find out the potential at this point P. Understand? Now what is the potential? Potential is the and now you will understand the power of one of the definitions which I said should not be used practically. Okay. It was what? It said that you had to get a get a unit positive charge from infinity to this point right so since potential is the work done in getting a unit positive charge in getting a unit positive charge from from infinity to the point of interest along any path. <clears throat> For convenience, we are choosing a radial, radial path. We choose a radial path. Okay. And it is coming all the way from infinity. And what are we bringing? We are bringing a, a charge of plus one coulomb. Right? It is a charge of plus one coulomb that I am getting in. Now, normally this small r becomes a running variable it is it is a variable but here it is a constant here the small r is a constant fine because i say i have to find it at a at a radial distance of r right so this variable this variable i take as And yes. Okay. This variable I take as yes. <clears throat> now what happens when it is at a distance s? It is feeling some force. Say this is plus q. This is plus one coulomb. So it will feel a force in this direction, correct? It will feel a force in this direction and this is what we had designated as F system. Did we get that? This is what we designated as F system. S is variable. S is a variable now. It is a running variable, right? Now there's a trouble. The force that it feels here is dependent on S so, so the force itself is varying as I move ahead. So I move an infinitesimally small distance so that during that this force remains a constant. Understand that? So, so here, though I'm showing it to be so big, it is smaller than even the smallest that you can 
think of. Does it matter in which direction it goes? What if it will be no, 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 no. But, but it has to come from infinity to this point, no? I am trying to find out this potential at P, so it cannot go away to infinity, right? So, so we choose a radial path at any arbitrary distance, at any arbitrary distance S, the, the force experienced, the force experienced by, by the charge is dependent <coughs> on, on S. So we move an infinitesimally small, infinitesimally small distance. ds okay small distance ds towards the charge q okay so what is the work done and we have been discussing that the force that the external agency applies is is equal but opposite to what the system forces it to do, right? It will be this. This is your external, F external, right? This is your F external. Now, since I am trying to find out the magnitude and I know I am working, right? If I am doing the work opposite, I, if I am applying a force in the direction opposite to the, to the system, and what is happening? I am moving in the same direction, right? Is it not? So ds vector is this. Do we see that? Do we see that? This is your ds vector, right? This is your ds vector. Okay, so, so I am doing the work. I am applying a force in some direction and I am moving in the same direction. So I am doing the work, right? The work done is positive. Fine. So, So that the force remains a constant during that during that displacement. Correct. The infinitesimal the infinitesimal work done dw is equal to f into ds no what is your f f at this point is what it is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q into small q upon s square. What is your small q? A small q is 1 coulomb, right? So I write it as 1. Okay? Into ds understand 
fine now let us try to understand what is ds ds is equal to final value of s minus the initial value of s what do you mean to say it was initially here it moved here a very very small distance fine a very very small distance it moved but what is the final one what is the final distance the way we have defined this to be origin and the way this charge is moving towards the origin moving towards the origin the final s is less than the initial s okay which is a negative quantity why negative quantity as final s is less than initial s we get the point so this is actually negative so ds is negative i do not want this to be negative why because i am doing the work f dot ds is not negative why because f and ds are in the same direction understand f f external and ds they are in the same direction so their dot product will not be a negative thing what gives us the liberty to define the <coughs> direction for ds not because, because you you will have some fixed point no you cannot take it they take that as well to infinity hmm? mm -hmm. so 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 what happens so this is a negative quantity does since ds is a negative quantity does dw which is given by by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon s square into ds is also a negative quantity is also a negative quantity correct but the work done dw is positive because f and ds f is also a vector so i should not okay here too you put a vector sign okay because f and ds are in the same direction Okay. Therefore, now this is a negative quantity. This has to be positive. This has to be positive. To make it positive, therefore, D does we put a negative sign. <coughs> on the right side of the equation so dw is equal to minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon s square into ds now what is the total work done if you get the whole thing from infinity to r total work done w is obtained by integrating the whole thing from infinity to r minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon s square into ds okay this is q into ds which is equal to i i take this out 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught also q 
एंड लीव माइनस वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर डी एस इन साइड फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू आर नाउ वॉट इज द इंटीग्रल ऑफ माइनस वन अपॉन एस स्क्वायर इट इज वन अपॉन एस वन अपॉन एस इट गोज फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू आर एंड वी नो द डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल यू हैव टू पुट द You have to put this value. How did we get this? Hope you understand. We applied x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus one upon n plus one. We do not use that constant of integration for 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 a definite integral. So this was nothing but minus of s to the power minus two ds. so that became minus s to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 this is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 cancels so it becomes s to the power minus 1 which is actually 1 upon s get the point so it is 1 upon s so so it is what we do in definite integral we put the upper upper limit in place of s subtract it put the lower limit in place of s what is 1 upon infinity 0 so it actually becomes q upon 4 pi epsilon not r okay so potential due to a charge <coughs> capital q is actually Four pi epsilon naught r. Okay. So it varies as the inverse of the distance. Correct. Correct. Now at this very stage, I'd like you to get back to how we had defined. If there is a thing called d v uh, sorry v defined then d v upon d x is equal to the to the force that's how we started the chapter so just try to find out minus d v by d x of this minus d v here the variable is r okay that is equal to that is equal to q upon four pi epsilon not d d r of one upon r and that becomes this is r to the power minus 1 no d d r of r to the power n is n r to the power n minus 1 so it was r to the power minus 1 so it is minus 1 into r to the power minus 1 minus 1 so it is is minus r to the power minus 2 which is minus 1 by r square so it is it is q this is this 4 pi epsilon not Minus one upon r square, which becomes q upon four pi epsilon naught r square. Is it not the force that this feels? No. The one coulomb charge feels exactly the same force at a distance r. R can be anything. So so maybe the running variable, right? Or, or or at this point this is the force that it feels is it not this is the force that one coulomb feels hmm no 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 this 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 is the force that it feels so this is equal to f at r no so so in a sense in a sense we have authenticated what we had started with and we see that it is true minus dv upon upon dr or i raised the distance ce from here so i get that minus dv upon dr is equal to f at r 